Now look at the second question. Now look at the second question of histogram equalization. In this question, like in the previous question, the pixel distribution it is not given in a tabular format. In this question, image is given and input image is given, and for this input image we have to perform the histogram equalization. So how to proceed? We will proceed in the similar manner as we proceed in the previous question. First, you have to make a histogram equalization table. Now the maximum number, now the maximum number in this question it is seven. So for an integer number seven, the next uh, for an integer number seven, the value of l it is eight. So for l is equal to eight, the number of grayscale varies from zero to seven. So I will write in the first column. I will write the different gray labels. That is R K. So here I will write zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. ऐसे क्वेश्चंस में जिसमें इमेज गिवन है हम आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे मैक्सिमम नंबर मैक्सिमम नंबर है सेवन एंड फॉर सेवन द वैल्यू ऑफ एल इट इज एट सो अगर हमारा एल का वैल्यू एट है इफ एल इज इक्वल्स टू एट सो द ग्रे स्केल विल वेरी फ्रॉम जीरो टू एल माइनस वन दैट इज इनपुट ग्रे लेवल विल वेरी फ्रॉम जीरो टू सेवन ओके सो पहले कॉलम में हम आर के यानी डिफरेंट ग्रे लेवल को मेंशन करेंगे और डिफरेंट ग्रे लेवल्स हमारे हैं जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू मेक अ कॉलम फॉर द नंबर ऑफ ऑकरेंस दैट इज एन के नाउ इन दिस इमेज नाउ इन दिस इमेज फर्स्ट वी विल काउंट व्हाट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑकरेंस ऑफ ग्रे लेवल जीरो सो इन दिस इमेज द नंबर ऑफ ऑकरेंस ऑफ इनपुट ग्रे लेवल जीरो इट इज जीरो so i will write here zero next next we will check what is the number of occurrence of the input gray level 1 so in this question the number of occurrence of input gray level 1 it is only 1 and it is here so i will write 1 next we will check for the input gray level 2 Now in the given image, the input gray level two it is repeated for two times. Once it is here, once it is here. So I will write the number of occurrence of the input gray level. It is two. Next we will check the number of occurrence of the input gray level three. So gray level three is repeated two times in this image. Once it here, another one is here. So the input gray level 3 it is repeated two number of times similarly the input gray level 4 what is the occurrence of input gray level 4 so input gray level 4 it is occurred only once and it is here so i will write it here one next what is the occurrence of input gray level 5 so input gray level 5 it is repeated for two times so number of occurrence of input gray level 5 it is 2 now what is the occurrence of input gray level 6 and 7 so input gray level 6 it is repeated for 6 times and input gray level 7 it is repeated only for 2 times so number of occurrence of input gray level 6 it is 6 and number of occurrence of input gray level 7 it is 2 Now look at this image. Now look at this image. In this image, the number of rows it is four, the number of column it is four. So rows is equal to four. Number of rows is equal to four. Similarly, the number of column it is equals to four. So for a four cross four image, the total number of pixel. It is four cross four, that is sixteen. Okay. Now this sixteen number you have to verify 
after writing this nk so if you sum all this number the summation of all this number should be equals to 16 so 1 plus 2 it is 3 3 plus 2 it is 5 5 plus 1 it is 6 6 plus 2 it is 8 8 plus 6 it is 14 plus 2 it is 16 so total number of pixel it is equals to 16 now after writing rk and nk next you have to uh, perform the normalization that is you have to determine the probability density function so in the next column you have to do the normalization that is you have to determine nk by n so 0 divided by 16 it is equals to 0 1 divided by 16 numerically it is 0 0.0625 and up to 2 decimal place it is reduced to 0 0.06 similarly 2 divided by 16 it is 0 0.125 and up to 2 decimal place it is 0 0.13 so for this it is also 0 0.13 for 1 it is 0 0.06 next for 2 it is we have already determined 0 0.13 for 6 it is 0 0.375 and up to 2 decimal place it is reduced to 0.38 next for 2 it is 0.13 like in the previous question after performing the normalization next you have to determine the cumulative density function cpdf represented by sigma for 0 it is i will write here 0 then 0 plus 0 0.06 it is 0 0.06 0 0.06 plus 0 0.13 it is 0 0.19 0 0.19 plus 0 0.13 it is 0 0.32 0 0.32 plus 0 0.06 it is 0 0.38 0 0.38 plus 0 0.13 it is 0 0.51 0 0.51 plus 0 0.38 it becomes 0 0.89 and 0 0.89 plus 0 0.13 it is 1.02 so after determining the sigma next you have to determine l minus 1 into sigma okay so already i have told you these things that the maximum number in this image it is 7 so for maximum number 7 the value of l is equals to 8 so if l is equals to 8 l minus 1 is equals to 7 so now you have to multiply now you have to multiply row wise 7 into 7 into 0 so the output it is 0 7 into 0 0.06 it is 0 0.43 7 into 0 0.19 it is 1.33 7 into 0 0.32 it is 2.24 7 into 0 0.38 it is 2.66 7 into 0 0.51 it is 3.57 7 into 0 0.89 it is 6.23 and last 7 into 1.02 it is 7.14 after performing this l minus 1 into sigma last we have to write in the last column you have to write the output gray label sk that is we have to write the nearest integer number for all this so first for 0 it is 0 0 0.42 the nearest integer number is 0 1.33 the nearest integer number is 1 2.24 it is 2 2.66 it is 3 3.57 it is 4 6.23 it is 6 and 7.14 it is 7 after performing after performing the histogram equalization next we have to write the output image for writing the output image first we will draw our input image first we will draw our input original input image
इट वॉज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव सिक्स 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 सेवन सिक्स 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 सेवन टू थ्री दिस इज द इनपुट इमेज वी हैव परफॉर्म द हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन एंड आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द आउटपुट इमेज सो द साइज ऑफ दिस इनपुट इमेज इट इज फोर क्रॉस फोर सो द साइज ऑफ द आउटपुट इमेज इट शुड ऑल्सो बी फोर क्रॉस फोर now look at the input table sorry now look at the histogram equalization table in histogram equalization table you will find for the input gray level 0 in the output image it will be mapped with the output gray level 0 so since in my image there is no input gray level 0 so we will not write any output here the next input gray level it is 1 in the input if the input in my input image if the input gray level is 1 in the output image we have to map with the gray level 0 so in the input image we have to identify the location of 1 so input gray level 1 in the input image it is occurred only only at this place so this we have to map with the output gray level 0 so i will write here 0 second next the next gray level it is 2 if the input gray level is 2 in an input image in the output image it is map with the output gray level 1 so in the input image you have to identify the location of gray level 2 so in the input image the location of input gray level 2 is occurred at two places and in the output image this input gray level 2 it is mapped with the output gray level 1 similarly for the next gray level similarly for the next gray level the next gray level is 3 if in the input image the input gray level is 3 in the output image you have to map with 2 so next we have to identify in the original image what are the location of input gray level 3 so input gray level 3 it is repeated twice one set here another one is here it is map with the output gray level 2 next for the next input gray level that is 4 if in the input image the input gray level is 4 in the output image it is map with the output gray level 3 so in the input image you have to identify what is the occurrence of the input gray level 4 so input gray level 4 is occurred only once that is here now it is map with the output gray level 3 for the next gray level that is the gray level 5 so in the input image if the input gray level is 5 in the output image the output gray level should be 4 so in the input image we have to identify what are so in the input image we have to identify what are the location of input gray level 5 so input gray level 5 in an input image is repeated twice here so in the output image you have to map with the output gray level 4 next for the input gray level 6 in the original image in the input image if the input gray level is 6 in the output image you have to map with 6 so in the input image the input gray level 6 is repeated for 6 times so in the output image this gray level 6 input gray level 6 it is map with the output gray level 6 so it is 
six. Similarly, for the last input gray level seven in an input image in output image, it is also mapped with the output gray level seven. So seven is repeated twice here and here. So in output image, this seven will be mapped with the output gray level seven. So I will write here seven seven, and this is your output image. So in this manner, so in this manner, we have performed. So in this manner, we have performed the histogram equalization for this input image, and after performing, and after performing the histogram equalization on this input image, this is my corresponding output image.